A question that often gets asked is how do I join two tracks together in a seamless way? It's um, quite tricky, it's not as simple as I would like to make it. Um, I would prefer to have it so that you could just move one of these and have it snap to the other track, but that, that's actually quite tricky because um, there's a number of factors, cambers, shapes, um, number of vertices used, a lot of factors in there that can affect that, so um, that's going to be a very tricky task. In the meantime, I'm going to show you a, a way that you can join them reasonably neatly and without taking too much time. Relative, anyway. Uh, first thing we're going to do is move this track up and down a little bit and get it in the right position, as well as line this point up, uh, this point here, the lower corner of that, to be right on the edge. Um, so firstly to to line that point up, I'll just zoom in while we're in top view and just move that to be right on the edge of that other track. Uh, just roughly we're going to fine tune all of this so don't spend too much time doing it. Um, flip back to full view mode and we'll just move that up and down, hold the Y key and just move it up and down so that it's roughly in the center, it's cutting through the, the center of each track, round about there. Um, now what we'll do is switch to the surfaces mode and we'll add a surface on this second track and I want to do it so that the edge of it meets the edge of the other track. So I'll just click there and move it from side to side. Again, don't get too pedantic because you'll need to fine tune it in a moment. Um, as we switch tracks we want to do the same, we want to add a surface here and we want to add one here. Now these last two surfaces I've added is to make sure our terrain fits neatly, I'll show that a little bit later. I'll switch back to the the second track and this is where we've put in the first surface and that's going to allow us to control this upper point here, which is that one there, so that it is perfectly uh, in line with the, the track that's trying to meet it. Um, the other thing we're doing there is um, we've got the first surface, actually that's the one I'm going to attack now, and uh, we want to make sure that this point is down here somewhere. So if we're looking at, at that end of it, that is that cross section along here, and I'll zoom it a little bit on this point, and then we'll try and move it across, um, up and down, that is, um, so that it meets that. And what we'll do is we'll just zoom in here a little bit, and um, you can flick on the wireframe if you want to see it a little bit more carefully. You see that it's just cutting through there. So that's pretty good there. Um, these ones you can just sort of drop down so that it's below the line, um, similar to the other one, so that it's not cutting through the track. Um, <coughs> It doesn't matter so much about that one because this is already well below the surface if we spin around there. So the next thing we're going to do is move to the second surface cross section and we'll tell that we're going to set the shape on that and looking at this we're going to have to move everything up a bit anyway. So let's just grab everything and just move it up and grab this one and move it up. You can see it's starting to cut through there, so let's just zoom in there, fine tune it a little. I'm not going to worry too much because um, you can spend more time than I do on this. And then adjust these other points so that that track starts to cut through. Now at this stage it's where it gets a little bit tedious. You want to back and forth between these two surfaces so that you move these up so that it just starts to break through at the edge. Um, so how 
hasn't broken through now if we can switch back to our other surface we can fine tune that a little bit more so you can see that that road is just starting to break through there there and I would really zoom in on on these and adjust them very finely um, that's all I'm going to do for now but you'll find even that is pretty good effort for for linking those together. What I'm going to do now is switch to the top view, go to the terrain and add some terrain. Um, we've got this track selected at the moment so we're going to use this tool, click near here to begin with and then drag it over in this direction and click up at the second one. And that connected at this point and moved it up there. Do the same on the other side except we're going to click near here Oops. I'll just minus that and let's do it again. I didn't cancel that uh, first tool. I should have right clicked and gone back. So we've got that one done. We'll just move that point there. And now we'll switch tracks and we'll do a similar thing for this track. So I click near here and click up there and we'll merge those two points together and then do likewise for this section of track, so somewhere here move it out here get those and merge those together now if we switch to our 3D view you'll see that our terrain is starting to sit together nicely turn off that you might get some small lines creeping in and you'll need to adjust these points up and down obviously, but um, overall that's looking pretty good and um, you'll just be able to pull out those terrain polygons and continue on as normal. And that's it. I hope that helps.